Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, we are doing a spring decorate with me here in our living room. We are going to start at our arched cabinet. I absolutely love this furniture piece. It's one of my favorites in our home. It was a huge splurge, and we've actually had it for almost a year now, which is kind of crazy to think about. So I took everything out because I wanted to fully restyle this area. I'm going to give it a really good wipe down because with it being black, it definitely holds a lot of dust. First, I'm going to be taking some coffee table books and these bookends that I got from Target. They are a few years old, so I won't be able to link the exact ones, but I'll try to link something similar. I'm going to be placing my beautiful horse bust right next to the books that I just placed. I really want to either spray paint or get a different one of these horse busts. I feel like there's too much white on the top shelf and I saw one at Kohl's that I really liked and of course I went back and it's not available anymore. It's sold out. So I'm going to keep checking back. My other idea is getting the stone-like spray paint to give it some texture and add some warmth up to that top shelf. I really like how organic and modern this bookshelf looks, the way that I style it, and I feel like the top shelf is kind of throwing that off with how much white there is. For the second shelf, I'm just layering in some pictures. I love this frame from Frame It Easy. The art is from Etsy. The little black frame is from Target and the wooden pedestal is from Michaels. I love those candles. They're battery powered from Amazon. I use them all over my house and it definitely gives a nice cozy feel with them on. Right next to that little vignette that I just created, I'm going to take this jug that I got from the Vintage Market a couple years ago and I'm taking some greenery. This is unfortunately not available from Target anymore. You guys love that greenery so much. I'm also taking this vase from Hobby Lobby that my neighbor actually got me for my birthday last year and I love pairing these two together, having the contrasting colors and the greenery adds a nice little pop against the black bookshelf. Moving down to the next shelf, I'm taking this paper mache bowl that I also got at the vintage market and some of my beaded garland and I'm just kind of draping that out of the side of it. I also have this paper mache bowl on a black pedestal but you cannot see that obviously because it blends in which I really like. To the right of that, I'm taking this wood tray from our house, which is unfortunately not available anymore, with a vase that I DIY'd and another vase from Target. For the bottom shelf, I'm taking my new beautiful driftwood piece. I'm going to be placing that on the bottom right. I love how this really gives an organic feel to the bookshelf. I absolutely love it and I'm so glad that I pulled the trigger and bought it at Home Goods. Then I'm taking these two beautiful vases that I also found at Home Goods. This big one is hands down my favorite, probably one of the prettiest vases I've ever found at Home Goods. And I'm just going to layer these together with the bigger one in the back and the smaller one right in front. I do get a lot of questions on this arched cabinet and it is from Magnolia. I love it so much. I like that it's a little different than what everyone else has. A lot of people have them from our house or Crate and Barrel and I wanted something different. And honestly, I've never seen anyone else that I follow have this exact bookshelf. So if you guys are interested in getting it, definitely wait for a sale and I will have it linked in the description box below. For our mantle, I'm going to be finally taking down my winter greenery here. It makes me kind of sad because I really liked this greenery on our mantle, but I'm going to be taking all of it down and adding in some spring and summer greenery. I'm going to be layering in a couple garlands and then I'm going to be taking quite a few stems that I had laying around to make it look fuller. I originally wanted a draping look like I had before for the winter season but unfortunately that was just not working which you'll see here shortly so I decided to just put the garland on the top of the mantle and have 
have it draping off the side. I do like the way that it came out in the end, but it definitely took a while for me to get it the way that I wanted to, fluff out the stems to make them look like they blend. But I eventually got it and I was pretty happy with the end result so you'll have to let me know what you think of it in the comments below. This area is a little harder to style because we have a TV right above it so it's not like I can style this area with too many things but I also don't like to leave it completely plain. So if you have any recommendations, if you don't like the way that I did the garland, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I eventually want to change out some of my pillow covers on the couch but they had not come in yet so make sure to stay tuned on my Instagram. I'll definitely be posting more over there on our new pillow additions to the living room. I thought that these still went well for springtime so I just went ahead and put them back. These are from Woven Nook. I will leave them below if they're still available, but I have had them for quite some time, but I highly recommend them. They have the greatest pillow covers. I also wanted to share with you our recent Amazon find for our couch armrest. This is a total game changer and I love it so much. I cannot wait to get another one for the other side. It's great for putting drinks and if you're eating food on the sofa. So amazing. It will be linked below. For our coffee table, I layered in these woven storage boxes that I've talked about a million times from Amazon and this little trinket dish that I found at Anthropology. Unfortunately, it's not available anymore, but I'll leave the bigger one if that one's still available. This vase is from Michael's and it's a total Minka pot dupe from Anthropology. I love the shorter, wider size of it. And then I'm just putting in my favorite spring stems for the season. These are from Target. I will link them. Make sure to check your local stores, but they are unavailable online. They are so good if you see them in your local store, definitely get them. You can use them for spring and summer and they are really affordable, I think around $5 a stem. To finish off this look, I'm adding in my favorite coffee table book and this scalloped bowl that I found on Amazon that you guys love. It's unavailable, the exact one that I got, but I'll link a bunch of similar ones. They have so many on Amazon, and they are so pretty to style around your home. So that is going to complete this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram. The link is always in the description box down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!